let's move ahead. So your FY2 in medicine patient is uh, not patient. We have got a student, Larry, third year medical student. Teach him how to do subcutaneous heparin injection. Don't ask him to do the procedure. So again, it's teaching what you do, rapper building, assessing their knowledge, what exactly they want to learn, which cases you do subcutaneous injection. For example, you're giving it in diabetes, insulin. We're giving it in heparin as well. So that's the thing. Right, and then you'll start teaching. So first of all, you tell them what are the things that you require when you're doing this uh, uh, subcutaneous injection. So you need the gloves, apron, equipment tray, syringes, needle for injection, and the drawing up medication. You have to be very careful about one thing. So you have a bottle, you'll be taking the medication through that bottle, and definitely you'll be using the needle. The needle that you are using to get the medication should be different from the one you are injecting it to the patient. So you used to, so you should have two needle. One needle I used to withdraw the medicine from the bottle to the syringe. Then I'll take that needle, I'll throw it in the sharps mill, I'll get the new needle, and then I'm gonna inject the patient. So don't forget this point, very important point. Uh, gauze, cotton swab, sharps container, obviously the medication, obviously I need, and the patient's prescription, yeah? The medication that uh, you're gonna administer, make sure the name is there, and you have already checked the expiry date as well. You have got two needles as well, one for withdrawing, another is to give the medication. Yep. Now, when you're teaching the student so that you tell them that we have to gather all these instruments, all these things will be there on the cubicle, and then you will explain it to them what are the appropriate sites where you can actually inject. So what we have got, we have got the abdomen. Abdomen, avoid injecting within two inches radius around the amplicus. Rest you can give in the abdomen. That's absolutely, absolutely fine, right? Upper outer aspect of the arm, yeah. Outer aspect of the upper thigh and upper buttock. So these are the areas where you can give this injection. Okay, that's the thing. Now, uh, if you're giving repeated infection, for example, in insulin, you have to give it maybe a few times in a day. So what we advise the patient to do, you use different, different sites. That would be an ideal thing. Do not use a site if it is scarred, inflamed, irritated, or bruised. If multiple injection needs to be administered, use different sites for each subsequent in injection. If frequent injections are administered, rotate the injection site. So these are some general advices that you can uh, uh, explain it to your student as well. Now, when you're giving the injection, see, uh, you have to be just holding it like a pen maybe, and then you inject it. So when you inject, before injection, are we supposed to clean the area or not? When you're doing subcutaneous injection, even if you're not cleaning the area, it's absolutely okay. Usually we clean the area with the alcohol swab. If I don't do that in subcutaneous injection, is it okay? It's absolutely okay. Then you pinch the area with the thumb and index finger, and then you inject it. Now, usually when we give the injection, first we pull the plunger and then we inject. Why we pull the plunger? Just to see if we are in a major blood vessel or not. If yes, then we have to be very careful. Do I need to do the same thing here when I'm doing subcutaneous injection? The answer is not really. Because where you are, you are in the subcutaneous tissue and we don't have any major vessel. So you inject it, just push the medicine in the arm or in whichever place you want to give and that should be okay. You don't need to pull the plunger as well. When you're going for IM injection, intramuscular, deep intramuscular injections, there you put the needle, you pull the plunger, no blood, then you inject the medicine. In subcutaneous, you go for it, you don't need to pull, you just give the medicine and that is it. After that, what you will do, you will throw the needle again in the sharps bit, right? And there might be a sticker, just put the sticker and that's it. And you just uh, put it in the patient's file as well that I have given this injection, right? So that's what you need to do in uh, station of uh, subcutaneous injection. All right.